Tav X, which means purity and becoming one. Forgive me, family. I can only use one hand because I'm using my other hand to hold up this phone. I'm out here one of these national parks. I don't know about y'all, but I love being around nature. I love being around trees. Uh, it freshens the air that you're able to intake. It improves the quality of the air, which improves the qualities of your thoughts. And it helps you out in other ways as well. OK, I love being around this kind of stuff. It helps me relax. At the same time, it helps me to recharge. You guys, once you get a little bit of taste of this truth. It only makes you hunger and thirst for more. OK, it's no more denying for anybody out there on planet Earth. We are in the midst of a serious awakening, a serious revolution pertaining to the Hebrew Israelites. Hebrew Israelites. I've been thinking about something, you guys, and I've been thinking about something that is very rarely talked about, even in brothers and sisters who are in the truth. OK, and this is something that I've really actually started to <clears throat> excuse me. This is something that I've actually started to think about myself probably the last two, two and a half years. And I've realized that nobody's talking about this because this is not going to be promoted at any church. Churches are not here to help you. They're here to destroy you, which is what they've done. We got to remember, family, the church is the one who put us in slavery. The church is the one who authorized to enslave the indigenous people. OK. You ever heard of stuff like the uh, Popo Vu? I believe I'm uh, pronouncing that correctly. But the Pope signed the declaration that it's OK to enslave <laughs> the indigenous people of the Americas and take all their land. They were doing all kind of stuff, you guys, and they still are. We many of us have been lost in the matrix, caught up in the system. We don't know what's going on. But we really need to start considering the second exodus, you guys. I'm not making this up. This might sound crazy. Some of our people have never heard of it, OK, because it's not being taught. Not like that. It's not being expounded upon. Not like that. All of us need to look into this more deeply. OK. We've all been taught to be on the lookout for. J.C., OK, the God in the flesh, second return. But here on this channel, you guys know we are Yahweh only. We worship the most high God only. Good. <laughs> Go figure an airplane would want to come in right now, right? But it ain't stopping nothing. We worship the most high God and him alone. We don't pay homage to any other deity. Around here, we understand and we know that no man controls where our soul goes when we leave this world. That's up to the most high God, not JC, not no man, not no God in the flesh. It's up to the most high God, the one and only true God, the God of Israel, the God of Negroes. OK, <clears throat> we need to start considering this, you guys, the second exodus. Right. <laughs> I got I got good reason, you guys, to believe that that is going to happen sooner rather than later. OK, of course, I got to do more looking into it. So should you. All of us should be looking into it. You guys, when we read the Old Testament, right, the most high tells us that. The stars, the moon, the sun, all these things in the heavens, they, they have a purpose. Their purpose is to keep track of times, seasons. OK, and times is just not necessarily four o'clock, four thirty times mean what time you're at in the biblical timeline. And for signs, these things in the heavens, the sun, the moon, the stars, they're for times, seasons and times and signs. Right now, I'm telling you a sign, you guys. I know that this has got to be significant. OK. Back in 2017, you guys remember back in 2017. And at this time, right, for everybody out there, timing is going to be a little bit different, right? But I noticed the last five to seven years have been a major influx of Negroes realizing that they're not black. 
that they're the Hebrew Israelites. There's been a major uh, flux of that going on. And only the Most High God can do that. Those are times. Those are signs. You guys, back in 2017, there was a daytime eclipse over America. Okay. I know y'all remember. It was a big news. It was big news then and it's still big news. 2017, there was a daytime eclipse over America. And did you know, did you guys know that that eclipse took place over a place in America named Little Egypt? I can't make this up, you guys. I cannot make this up. And guess what? Next year, which will be 2014, in the month of April, there's going to be another daytime eclipse. You guys, this eclipse also will be visible in America. And guess what? I'm not making this up. This eclipse is going to make a second mark across the town called Little Egypt. And it's going to actually mark a X marks the spot over Little Egypt in America. You guys, are you going to tell me that this is a coincidence? There is no such thing as a coincidence, you guys. There's no such thing as a coincidence. This is significance. And you guys know that the most high, he really likes the number seven. It will be seven years, you guys, from the last daytime eclipse, which happened in America back in uh, August 2017. And now it's going to take place in April 2024, seven years apart. You guys, this is a sign, you guys, because if you think back after the eclipse 2017, that was like a spiritual alarm going off, you guys, because not too long after that. C-19 came to town and shut down the whole world, you guys. And in case you haven't noticed, 1619 to 2019, that's 400 years, you guys. There's a 400-year prophecy in Genesis. I believe it's Genesis 15 and 13 or, 15, or Genesis 15 and 3, one of those two, where it talks about the 400 years, Abraham's seed going to be in captivity in a land not their own, you guys. 1619 is what the so-called white man has documented when he first started bringing slaves over. Not my words. That's what the so-called white man got written, 1619. And he always has had that written. And then you're going to tell me that literally 400 years later, it's a coincidence when C-19 comes to town in all of the countries that the Negroes have been scattered into for slavery to shut down the world. You guys, that was the beginning of something big. It was the beginning of something big. And the eclipse was seven years ago. It'll be seven years next year in April. OK, you guys, I also got reason to believe that there was an eclipse when our ancient ancestors came out of Egypt back in the Old Testament. You guys, you guys, you got to do your homework, do your digging and do your research. OK, the most high God always sends signs and he uses things in the heavens like the stars, the moon, the sun, all of those things. They're created. They have multiple purposes. One of them is to give you signs. Signs of what? Things to come. OK, you guys, this thing is deep out here. This is deep. I can't make this up. And that dog is barking to confirm what I'm saying, you guys. It's called sound confirmation. Not making this up either. The majority of the time, not all the time, but a lot of the times, when somebody makes a statement that is 100 percent true. Doesn't matter who the person is making a statement. Lots of times when somebody makes a statement that cannot be debated and that is 100 percent true. Right afterwards, you will hear a sound confirmation in the physical realm. What's a sound confirmation? Just like a second ago, that dog was barking. That could be a sound confirmation. Somebody could slam a door, drop a glass, break a bottle, start honking a horn. Right after someone makes a statement that is 100 percent undeniably true. You guys, did you hear that dog just bark again? I can't make this up. Now that I told you guys that I want you to start paying attention for it. OK, because if you follow this channel, you know, certain biblical truths and watch from now on when you make a statement that's 100 percent true or whether a total stranger makes a statement that's 100 percent true and undeniable. A lot of the times you will hear a sound. A physical sound in the physical realm. I call that sound confirmation. 
and it could be somebody start honking a horn. Maybe somebody starts calling somebody's phone, starts ringing out loud, an alert to your phone, uh, anything. Somebody hollering out, whatever it is, sound confirmation. But check, check and start paying attention from now on since I told you that. And if you guys see that, I want you to do me a favor. Or if you know about what I'm saying, I want you to come down in the comment section and below and type in sound confirmation. So you know what I'm talking about out there. You got it. And the dog is barking again. I can't make this up. Do y'all see that? I can't make this up. But you guys, this daytime eclipse that's coming up next year, 2024, in April. I believe it's April the 8th. You guys, I'm not going to miss that. OK, yes, I have a job. Yes, I have to go to work, but I will be taking off of work that day. I'm not going to miss this, you guys. And look, of course, I'm not making any predictions. We all know that we in the last days. Right. What I'm telling you is this eclipse that's coming up is very significant. It is a sign. And it's no coincidence that this one is going to mark the second sign, which creates a literal X. It's going to be an X, you guys. Going over Little Egypt in 2024 in America. Look it up. I'm not making this up, you guys. I wouldn't make this up because I know there's a price to pay if I lie. Okay? I don't want to pay that price. I'm not willing to pay that price. Okay? I didn't start this channel to come on here and lie to my brothers and sisters. I started this channel because I love you guys. And I want to share with you what was shared with me. That's the truth. You are the Hebrew Israelites. You're not black. OK, and the most high God is coming to deliver you. There will be a second exodus. OK, it's going to be so big and so grand. And Jeremiah it says after that second exodus happens, no longer will they mention the exodus in the Old Testament. That's going to be small potatoes compared to this final exodus. It says when the most high brought the children of Israel up out from the land of the north. OK, and I think you guys are smart enough out there. You guys are smart enough out there to know what that means. OK, the land of the north and all the other places where he drove us at. But what do you think the land of the north is referring to? I know you guys are intelligent out there. If you know what I'm talking about, where is that talking about when it says no longer will they mention the old Passover, the old Exodus? But they will talk about when the Lord delivered the children of Israel from the land of the north. If you guys know what that land of the north is, go down below in the comment sections. Type it in. Family, family, this is where we come to convene at. This is where we come to hang out and kick it and politic and go over the scriptures and lift each other up and encourage each other. You guys, I'm telling you, look into the second exodus if you don't already know about it. OK, this is not being dwelt on you guys, but I do believe this is the season for us to start dwelling on that, because I really do believe it's much sooner than it is later. You guys, the most high God is going to deliver us. He said he's going to set his set his hand a second time to recover the remnant a second time. A second exodus is going to happen. You guys, you're going to be brought up out from the land of the north. Go down below in the comment section and tell me where is that land of the north? You guys know it. I know you do. OK. I love you guys. Tav X. Purity and becoming one. Sorry, I can only use one hand because my other hand is holding my phone. You guys, we are going to be united. The Israelites will be united and brought back together physically sooner than we believe you guys. Start looking into it, checking into the second exodus, you guys. It's going to happen. I love you guys. I love you guys. Hit this like button so that this video gets shown to your brothers and sisters. I'm out.